What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to the Battle of Pokemon League. And of course, the finals versus Joey and his Los Angeles Nether Kings. Now, before we go into the game, I do want to cover the team I'm facing and what I have myself, and just really how I decided to tackle this team, mainly because uh, I fought this team before, I beat this team before, but the way I beat it was much like my um, semi finals game versus Ted. Uh, my best ideas, my best strategies was very much involved with that game, so I needed to redesign what I thought I was forced to be doing to be able to cover this team better. And I say it like I said in the previous game, it's not an easy task. You definitely need to be well try to reinvent the wheel. And I feel that I feel I got there. I feel I got to design my team as I wanted to, but I'm using the same team as. Um, um, what to say before the shift? So um, he's going to be forced to be prepping for something I had before. So it's whether or not he covered that, or if he uh, overfought himself going into this game. So as you guys can see, I have Tabaku, Kuchurin, Black, Inferno, Spirit Tomb, Kill, Sandslash, Latias, Jarros, Mega Scissor, Stealth, and Among Us, and Fable. Uh, so really, really broad team, and a, quite a decent one at that. Uh, but my opponent. Are just as scary, and it should be stated here. Uh, we are the two teams that had a lot the most wins throughout the season. Joey had one more win over me. I went 7 2, he went 8 1. So that's just, just just about tell you how good Joey is. And I was actually the only one beating him, so truly happy about that. Um, so with that said, yeah, we see Garashi, Tokis, Malorik, Conkelder, Vulcanian, uh, Mega Venusaur, Yuxin, Sinroar. Meanwhile, flying on Mismages and Thunderous. Uh, he didn't have Thunderous before, um, and that's something I didn't have Clefable before. We got it as a perk going into playoff. Uh, but Thunderous, of course, shuts down my Tabu Koku. That's not good. Uh, I still need Tabu Koku for this game, and um, I found for this specific game I'm going to have a very tough defog in nature, um, or nature's power basically, to be able to. Or the, the move that reduced Nature's Madness, I'm sorry, to reduce by half, to just ship down anything here. Uh, bring the same set I had with Jaros, which is a combination of uh, Walk and Berry and Dragon Dance. It swept him last time, he won't do that again, I'm sure. Um, Mega Sister, a more offensive variant with Bullet Punch and Soul Stance, and uh, yeah, just the standard stuff. A Cure and Black mixed variant this time around, basically no speed, a lot of attack, and a lot of special attack. Uh, see if that works. Gigalith last time was a Shukaberry variant. Uh, I won't have that this time because this time I Smooth Rock and I'm going to use Stoutland to best my abilities. Uh, I do believe his only Pokemon that is Perian uh, Stoutland was his Miss Mages, but that's something I initially think he won't bring. And it was whether if that is true or not. But Stoutland is my choice band variant, able to outspeed a Scarf Thunder C, which I think is ideal for this matchup, and it also outspeeds, of course possible Dragon Dance flying on. So with that said, let's see the matchup we are going up against. So yeah, I think I prepped Rod right. And the things I see here that is scary is Scorch Hirashi. Uh, last time I had Spirit Tomb and Choice Bandit Spirit Tomb to be able to lock that in. I don't have that option this time around. We actually Choice Bandit pursued it last time and it pretty much killed it. Uh, we say Yuxi here, that is real annoying. Um, Conkelder is going to be tough, being a Venusaur is going to be tough, and Thunder is, of course, an excellent choice versus me because I really don't do too well versus it. While Gigalith can kind of soak a hit if it's forced to, um, it's definitely not ideal, but it can pull that off. And of course, it is set up bait versus Tabu Koku. So, with that said, let's see how this game went. Uh, I actually decided to go rather standard and decided to uh, bring out Tabakogu as my initial switch in. I'm going to go directly for Nature's Mana since if it goes for Stealth Prox and defog them away, so it doesn't matter. Uh, he's actually going to go directly for a U turn, which I thought was fine. I actually am flying C Braver to be able to just one hit KO the. Um, what do you call it, the Mega Venusaur. Now he's gonna switch in his Thunders directly. Uh, so I am forced to switch in something. I decided to switch into Cure and Black in case it goes for a Thunderbolt, just trying to get some decent damage on me. Volt Switch makes sense too, uh, but I definitely don't predict him to go for um, Focus Blast. If anything, Sludge Wave would make sense. Uh, but he's actually going to go for a U-turn, which was awesome for me, because Cure Black is something he doesn't necessarily switch into that easily. And Yorashi is his choice here. Um, 
Now I really don't have a lot for Girashi, so I'm actually going to decide to stay in just to try to ship it down. And luckily for me, I should say, uh, I don't get flinched. I'm getting a huge hit on the Girashi, and that's that's kind of cool. Definitely needed that. Now the thing is here, I am really don't need cure him like too much for this matchup but i definitely think it's gonna keep going for iron head so i'm gonna go on opportunity to just bring in scissor and just do the best with it he could potentially have fire punch i'm necessarily not that worried but i will switch out if that's the case and bring in giggle rather safely now he has the fire punch so we're really that right uh he get a crit on me but i'm still like giggle is so fairly bulky and we we take that well uh like i said i'm not necessarily that worried uh, now, of course, um, you're actually get a lot of HP back from that, but I'm, I'm okay. Like, I'm definitely feeling that he's gonna U-turn or switch out as if he keeps actually going for an Iron Head as I bring in Tao Koku. Now, I am faster than, of course, Yurashi. This is not a Scarf variant, I'm sure of that, as it was all leftovers. And Thunderbolt should easily KO, and I'm super aware of that. So, my easiest play here is definitely trying to go for that. Uh, as it brings in, actually, I think I went for Nature's Madness. No, I went for C. Bree, Bree Bird, uh, good on me, uh, predicting the Venusaur to come in. Yeah, since I thought the Thunderbolt was obvious, then, but the Thunder's team makes total sense too. And really, you know, what else can I do here, right? That's 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 the worst part of it, isn't it? So, Thunder's is here. I'm super, super much thinking that he's gonna go for Agility or Nasty Plus. I'm actually gonna sack like Cure and Black as he actually goes directly to Thunderbolt and it isn't KOing but I'm very aware that next one will uh, so um, I was actually really surprised to switch out here to his Uxie as I myself went for an Outrage because I was so sure I was gonna fall anyway so he gets Uxie out of the way which is kinda cool but at the same time yeah Sandstorm do take us out uh, but the Sandstorm is still raging on and that means that I can bring in Stalton and what do you know I get rid of his Hiroshi the same way Spirit 2 in our previous game actually took out Hiroshi with his abandoned pursuit and Hiroshi is out of play. And we played a massive momentum here. Now, I am fairly sure that Flying would have been an excellent choice here to go for a setup. And yeah, luckily for us, went for his Venusaur. Um, I don't switch in Wells versus Venusaur, but I can definitely ship that one down, but I can't ship it down with Pursuit, that's for sure. So I need to switch out, I'm gonna switch in Gyarados. Basically, try to force it out, uh, already showcase that um, that my Fly MC variant is the Tabu Koku, and I showcase I have Brave Bird, so uh, Gyarados made sense anyway, because it's special natural, special offensive, but it gets a crit on me, and that's roughly 50%, you know, here we are basically, I'm, I'm not in a decent spot here. Um, so I'm actually gonna go for a bit of a stress play basically what I do is kind of force him out so I go for dragon dance here which is really 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 scary but he has roar so that's that's awesome and really really scary um, and Mega though doesn't mind this as I can go directly for actually a u-turn and do a massive hit on it and I can bring back Jardos which was initially everything I wanted predicting hidden power fire of course which definitely makes sense so I won't do the same mistake twice and I go directly for bounce as my opponent will go for Giga Drain yeah should go for Dragon Dance there <laughs> I just have a lot of feeling as Thunderous comes in uh, the bounce will connect <laughs> unfortunately for me he has the Mango Berry so Thunderous is back on track and that's not good but the greatest part is is that we know it's not scarfed and he's not C so Gigalift should be able to actually wall this um, um, Thunderous fairly alright uh, so Gigalift made sense to switch in as he goes for Thunderbolt he gets a crit on me but it doesn't matter I'm still a Gigalift I don't care damage isn't something I'm caring about and uh, I can easily force this Pokemon out if I desire to um, and what do you know, he U-turns, as I think I actually went for Stealth Rocks here, trying to punish his play a little bit. No, I went for Stone Edge. Should've gone for Stealth Rocks. Uh, that said though, uh, the reason I sit in is because I could very much survive a Focus Blast um, from this range, because, you know, the Sands from Wadma do boost my special defense, and I'm, I'm feeling definitely alright here. Now, Flying On is, well, let's say it as it is, is it has a tremendous threat. I'm not staying in here, I I'm certainly isn't. As I'm bringing in directly Stoutland, I don't need to worry if you're Dragon Dance, I still have speed. And I can go for the Bandit Return and just take out the Flygon. Um, I'll be honest and say I was pretty surprised I went for Dragon Dance. I felt like this, I prepped for this and I shouldn't second like that. Uh, that said though, you know, 
Venusaur comes in, I'm still very healthy, so I just keep spamming return as his only response to this is Giga Drain, and while it does damage, he definitely doesn't do enough damage to where I can just keep going for of course return and take out to Mega Venusaur. So the random Pokemon is the Cobelion, and it is that Thunderous. I do outspeed both. One packs the Mac Punch, however, and I do not want to take the Mac Punch because that will put me in well range of not being able to win this game. So um, as I switch out as it goes for Ice Punch. Actually, I don't know what it was predicting there, though initially thinking Gyros would make sense. That said, though, I go directly for a Bullet Punch, expecting him to Sack Play, but no, he goes for Drain Punch, and Drain Punch actually doesn't do necessarily that much. So with that in mind, I decided I could probably roost all a little bit here, getting myself in range for Sword Stance, and then follow that up with uh, Tap Coco or something like that, just to kind of wrap the game up. Uh, basically, what I was trying to do was getting as much damage as possible on the Cobalion, uh, or I mean, yeah, the Cobalion, uh, so that I can reset the set and then basically win with Stoutland. That was my initial thought. So I get the Sword Stance, I get the Bullet Punch, he will follow that up with a Mag Punch. Uh, I'm kind of glad I went for that there, because that would have been tremendously awful had I not pulled that off. Uh, so that's it, Jaros is my main switch in here, I'm just going to go for that very, very easy Waterfall. and not taking any risk here, no sir. As we get the Moxie Boost, which is kind of cool, but it is for not as... Um, I, I, I am forced to keep attacking him, I can't risk him going for the potential agility, I really really knocked this out. So with that said, I'm going to bring in Gigalith and I'm going to go directly for Explosion, uh, just to go directly for attack. Little did I know, you get a crit on me, but it doesn't kill me and I survive and I take out the Thunderous T and that will be a wrap and uh, I win this game 2-0 and win also the final. Which is awesome, I definitely, I never won a league ever, and uh, you know, it's kind of surprising it took me five seasons of my own league to <laughs> get that done. Uh, <laughs> now of course that said, I do kind of want to say the things I think matters here. Uh, first and foremost, I think Joey played a really, really good game no matter what, and it was very worthy of being in playoff and even coming out to finals. I do believe I had a bit of a matchup. Um, Per care versus him, I do believe I had an easier time prepping here. I'll have a lot of threats on my team, and uh, uh, last time we fought, he did say that he was prepping rather hard for um, for Stoutland and Sandslash, which both are on my team, to able to survive the Sandstorm. And I was feeling, since I was so so honest there and said that you know that it made no sense for me of doing that because it is so predictable for my team. Well, I decided to kind of go opposite in that route, and well, here we are. Uh, and it, it worked, it worked great, I was really happy with the result and I think it worked out fine and even with the hacks, like the crits did stress me out because it, it meant that my switch initiative was being well, worsened and worsened but the thing is here, I took out Yurashi and Yuxi really early those were his big defensive responses and it went fairly well from there and like getting rid of Yurashi pretty much made the game for me as he no longer had return switch-ins and um, with no set of funders, I really had a golden opportunity to just sending in Stalin as often as possible to be able to kind of retaliate. And, and it worked out great. Um, that said, oh, I'm trying to be a bit modest here, but I'm, I'm really happy with winning. Um, this felt like a really, really good season overall. And um, though two matches I lost was versus Tid and Nasser. Nasser I lost the like, first week, and that was mainly because. Uh, I was feeling out of it, like I had, didn't have played too much Pokemon until then. And versus Tid, which is because Tid was a better player than me. Versus Yoey, he was much, much closer this time around. It definitely had me figured out. So I could very well have lost this game had I lost Stoutland early. It's so really glad that didn't happen. Um, so with that said, I want to thank you everybody who followed this season. I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, really look forward to next season. And it's actually not too far away. We're going to start off in December. So that's roughly a month away. So with that said, I want to thank you, of course, everybody for watching. And I'll see you when the season starts. If you know, it's no Wi-Fi or anything like that comes up before that. Who knows? <laughs> and we guys take care. Thanks for watching.